Hi, I'm Reverend Beth Caulfield. I'm a pastor and ordained elder in the Global Methodist Church, and I'm someone who God has recently called from the local church pulpit to the pulpit of the faith-based film industry. That's my pulpit. That's his pulpit. <laughs> and I tell you, uh, there's nothing like it. Nothing reaches people more, any other medium hardly, than movies. And movies shift culture. And the opportunity to make a faith-based film is really answering God's call as he puts it in Isaiah 40 that says, get yourself up on the highest mountain and declare your God. So I wrote a movie and it's based on my family's experience with God uh, at a challenging time. And I wrote it and named it Conceivable. It is not saccharine, it's not preachy, and it's trying to be very realistic about the Christian struggle. And, and it's a struggle. And it's a struggle. Right. See, it's about being in a woman in her 40s who has a surprise pregnancy when she's in ministry. She's married with two almost grown kids, right? <laughs> and this wasn't her plan. Uh, and it's uh, something that uh, it, a lot of people can relate to, and I'll talk more about that. But, so I wrote the story, and next thing I know, I'm in West Virginia <laughs> with a couple of mavericks. Mavericks, you guys are. So, so and you stand up high on this faith-based hill mountain. Uh, I'm talking about Jason Campbell of JC Films Studios, uh, who uh, has the utmost respect is probably, no, he is the most prolific faith-based filmmaker out there, right? And he has this passion and drive for getting as many Christians as possible safely into the movie business. Get absolutely involved in it, making them, writing them, producing them, directing, acting in them, being around them. I'll just let you know. I just had to throw that in there. Yeah, but you know what? And that describes you, Dean, because you, I got to meet and now work with you, this talented actor, director, writer, producer, all those things, and someone who really has courage to stand up and speak on issues all over the world, about things all over the world, uh, that people need to hear through a faith-based lens. Yeah, it's uh, not the most popular stance in Hollywood, if you will, but you know, um, like you said, creating movies, telling stories, there's no more effective way to talk to people, to teach them something, to educate them something about something, to change their views on something, um, to expose them to something that maybe they hadn't seen before, or help them find their peace. Maybe they're going through something similar and they go, wait a minute, that, that reminds me of my life. Even though it's a little bit different circumstances, I understand that struggle because that's what I'm going through. And it's such a wonderful way to reach millions and millions of people. So I'm honored to just be a small part of it. So, and, and I'm honored uh, to be working with two very, uh, well, supermen, <laughs> supermen, and, uh, and men who have been supportive of a movie that uh, I think there's a real need for right now, which is more faith-based movies that um, are written for women and Christian women. Uh, this is a movie that men relate to as well, but uh, you know there is a spiritual attack against women in this country. Oh my gosh! And uh, and we try to bring that out. You know, um, women should always have a choice to follow God, right? And uh, this movie talks about a difficult subject that many people don't know is pretty common. Uh, over a third of women who find themselves pregnant in their 40s and beyond did so unplanned, right? <laughs> and you don't plan to have a kid at 46? Don't kid. plan. Most don't. <laughs> okay. um, and most of those, Dean, end up in abortion, right? And uh, in fact, our abortion rates are just behind those of teens. We're second only mm. to teens. Yet our issues and concerns are different. And there aren't many resources out there to help us with them. 
So uh, that even includes the challenges which you help portray very well in the movie uh, from the medical field itself. Uh, because of their own self-protective measures, often doctors wind up encouraging abortion. Mm -hmm. So conceivable, hey, it, it, it cuts past legalistic pro-life and pro-choice debates and instead just shows how we can follow God through adverse situations. Women should always have the choice to follow God, as all of us could. Should. So it is um, wonderful to have you um, play a villain again. <laughs> Not totally a villain. Not totally. No. no, no, a concerned doctor. Which, which there are lots of them out there. Not that they, and some people would see him as a villain, and some people would, would connect with what he's trying to do at the same time. And that's a, that's where it's that fuzzy gray area that people have get a chance to make up their own minds. That's exactly right. That's that's the important part of it. And and showing that uh, what women go through uh, in making quick decisions uh, and and putting uh, in front of them that you know if you follow things with prayer. Um, God's word, uh, surrounding yourself with strong Christian friends, God will make your path clear wherever that goes. Agreed 100%. And she didn't name, you ever watch The Princess Bride? You know, he says, inconceivable. Well, here's the answer to that. Conceivable. conceivable. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and this movie is uh, female written, uh, female directed, co-produced, uh, most of the film is female cast, which I don't think you minded that. Too no, much. I don't mind. I'm good with that. I'm okay with that. All uh, female cast is fine. Female cast uh, that's multicultural and multigenerational. So, uh, you know, it really. Uh, it's was, funny, I didn't notice any of that, honest to goodness. I just thought it was a regular cast. I didn't realize that was. Because I, I, I guess maybe I expect that. I don't, I don't know that that feels like to me. It's like, oh, that's, good. Her, that's a wonderful thing. You it's should so expect completely that. normalized. That's exactly right. That's exactly it. And, uh, you know, Dean, I, I hope that we'll see you in more of our movies. All right. Keep writing them. I'll, I'll keep showing up. And can you share a little bit about your relationship with J.C. Phillips? Oh, well, with Jason, I started off um, doing a different kind of movie with him, actually, to begin with. And uh, then he said, listen, this, this is something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to put together and change culture by making a lot of these faith-based movies and, and, and things that, that getting people involved, getting everybody involved in making it. When you're involved in being a part of something and creating something, you have that different kind of ownership about it. So he said, I'm, gonna, I'm making these small movies. Some of them are gonna be you know, X amount of dollars, which wouldn't even cover my, anywhere even like my, my day rate on one movie. You know, it's like the kind of money that they're gonna make the entire film for. And uh, he said, but I want to get as many of these out there and make these stories. And, and I want to involve these people because it's really their stories. And their stories that I, I, he started talking to me about these stories. And I said, well, Hollywood would never make these films. And I'm interested in letting people getting their, get their views out there, get their story out there, tell their story. And it's cliche to say it, but if you help change one person's life with a story, it's effective and it's wonderful. Well, when I'm at Comic-Cons now, every, you know, four out of five people will talk to me about uh, having played Superman and enjoying that character, but then the fifth person is going to say, "Hey, I, I, I love those faith-based movies. I, this one movie here that you did um, touched me, and I and I forgot I did that movie, you know, because there's so many that Jason's doing." And then I go, "Oh yeah, I remember the subject matter, what we were saying. That that, that was the biggest moment, you know, in their life, and it's super, super wonderful." So I try to make as many as I can with Jason. Sometimes he'll bring me in for a day, and I'll do three the small parts and just kind of rip through it because I want to, you know, people, one of the questions people ask when there's a movie, like, who's in it? You know, I, I want to see this movie, you know, this, whatever. And they go, well, who's in it? Oh, so-and-so and so -and -so. Oh, I know so-and-so. I'll, I'll check it out. And so that helps him get these movies made. So I'll try to show up and do as many as I can. And, um, and, I'm, and I'm just honored to be there and do my little part. You know, you say, scream it from the highest mountain. Hollywood is never the highest mountain, I promise you. <laughs> well, it's the highest mountain of something, but it ain't, a, a <laughs> it ain't, it ain't of good stuff. Um, and so much that comes out of Hollywood is, is not um, the kind of stuff you want your families watching and you want, uh, you know, there's, there's so much dribble that comes out. Uh, I'm super proud to be part of JC Films and I uh, hope to continue to do it for a while. And we're super proud of you being part of it too. You know, uh, the Conceivable ha has been produced. Um, we're in the middle of, of editing it right now, and we're at a point that we're, we're happy that most of the financing for the production has happened. 
But now we're at the next stage. We are at a point where uh, we want to get this film out there. And that means marketing and distribution. Uh, those are areas that we need your help. Marketing and distribution are not uh, cheap, uh, but they are the key to doing what we want to do. We want to get this movie in theaters. We want to get it streaming. We want to get it on airlines, in churches, anywhere and everywhere that we can get it out there. Uh, that happens for faith-based films, often through movements that, are, that come up behind the film. So uh, if you take a movie like The Sound of Freedom or the TV show The Chosen, they were funded by Christians who formed a movement. So I'd ask you to th think about that. Um, be part of the conceivable movement. I also want to just say and insert this in more that this is a movie that is about a modern Christian family with modern Christian struggles that's not legalistic, but instead looks at the real world that we live in and helps people find God through it. And Dean does a great job of helping us do that. <laughs> Thank you. Do my little part. Thank you very much. <laughs>